First, I want to thank all of you for the comments. And it is popping up on my computer screen as I'm recording these videos, and I'm so tempted to answer all of them. And you really are encouraging me so much by uh, making these comments often that we are in agreement. And I love you all so much. Oh, God, you know, it is my motivation, of course, to do this because we are one, we are family, we are getting ready to meet. Oh my God, we don't really understand what's coming, but whatever is coming is awesome, and you will be the part of it, and that is just the most awesome thing. So I just want to thank you, because I said um, in one of the videos that I will not be able to answer the comments, and that's the truth. Gosh, I have so much more to do beside these videos. It is no way, no way to do it all. And the Lord knows how much I'm in crunch with time all the time. So he, the Father keeps sending these messages to my favorite prophet that if I have time, you have time. <laughs> he says, don't say you don't have time. If I have time, you have time. So when I feel like I really don't have time for anything, then I remind myself of this thing and just try to comprehend it. Okay, I'm patching it together, so I'm going to talk into my own recording. I just see again this pop-up and the comments you are making guys is so awesome it's mind-blowing some of them are because it's an awesome 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 confirmation to what I'm talking about so let me read this to you from I dear sister thank you so much I remember the dreams where I was told see you in two and have been given dreams leaving with my twin brother on Wednesday 7th you find this underneath message seven and I thank you. Thank you, Ayn, for making this comment. Sorry if I butcher your name. This is awesome. I don't see the rest of it on the pop-up. I don't have the time to keep interrupting the videos because I'm already interrupting with this Thanksgiving, the video I'm recording for message eight. I mean, this is mind-blowing and we are running out of time. Oh my God, I just want to go to worship him. I still have about three more videos to finish up and then I'm done. <laughs> this is amazing. Gosh, people, this is so amazing. Never been this exciting. This is real. This is happening now. We've been guessing and we've been pressing and we've been working hard on this. But this is it. I have no doubt anymore. And really the steam is building up in my belly, in my spirit like never before. I know you have the same thing. I know you. You are receiving this. Praise the Lord. So praise the Lord. I love you all. And, and then I want to go and just worship and draw near to God because some of you are writing such an awesome comments that I'm like, I wish I would be that close to the Lord. <laughs> you know, we just keep busy. I'm, I'm Martha. I'm Martha. I'm always busy. But he knows he made me this way, so I hope that he didn't make a mistake, but I'm close. Um, he's in my heart, close. Hallelujah. So love you. Okay. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for uh, being my sister and my brother, and I'm about to see you. And I'm going to address those who are against what I'm saying. Comments which are, you know, argumentative. I don't have the time for that. Looks like that some of you are obsessed with arguing this issue. You don't have to come on to my channel if you don't agree. Then you be who God called you to be. It makes no difference to me what you say because I stand firm on what I know the God in me is telling me and showed me. And if this is not convincing you, then perhaps we don't walk together. I still love you the same and pray for you. I just can't argue with you. There is no argument about this. You cannot wield that Bible like a sword to cut off my head because that's a thousand page book and today we are living in a revelation of the entire universe. So there is a mind extension university here in the spirit. Praise the Lord. But I also want to say that I want to pray for you and I beg you to please hear me and repent. I tell you to repent because you're going to miss this turn. Now the Lord is coming for the first fruits and you are arguing the case. That means you don't know who you are in Christ. 
any of your needs, this thing, but it's not too late to repent, not too late to come to, her, to him and pay to him and acknowledge your sin. When he gives revelation to his sons and daughters, that is not up for argument. No. We share, we share because we want the whole world to know what the Lord said, but we are not even nailing it down like it would be written in stone. We just share what we understand. And you can add to what you understand. But to giving me this advice to get a Bible, and listen, that is rude. And you need to repent, okay? So, like I said, it doesn't make any difference to me. I just want you to be included in this awesome blessing. And one more thing. You know that if the joy is coming, then devastation is coming also. So, both are at the door, so very close, that we are just really now days away or right here. No more guessing, no more timing, no more nothing else, but just be ready this moment and from this moment on every day until. And remember when something bad happens, earthquake or anything, but unfortunately, the Lord is very clear on that people will die, many. You do not forget the hope you have in Christ. I believe before we leave, yes, before we are exceed the 144,000 to work in the fullness, it perhaps will still happen before for our purification. Or perhaps we really do leave early so that we could be back with the greater works anointing by the time the devastation comes because the 144,000 are coming back with the Lord. Actually, He is coming now. I know that for a fact. He is coming back now. He'll address the nations. So we come back with Him and immediately start running for the rescue. And that's why He even said that, Can I send you out? Are you willing to leave everything that you know? So everything will change for us. Yes, makes sense. Terry Toplin believes that she heard that we are leaving two days prior to the devastation, and it makes sense. Again, I'm teaching and preaching um, in the midst of Thanksgiving, but just who we are, that's our nature now, that we are pressing into the Lord and do what He calls us to do, and I beg you again that you be the one. He needs you. Don't argue over foolishness. Nobody knows. But surely enough, this is the time that He is coming. So just say, Lord, whatever... Your will is. I repent of everything. I repent of, of, of trying to understand. I repent on leaning my own understanding. I repent of, of not being loving to someone or talking to them the way that it's not, they are not receiving with gladness. Just repent and say, Lord, I want to be the one for you. I repent, Lord. I receive me. And again, he says, remember that just call upon the name of the Lord is even willing to do, but so many will not have the opportunity to call upon the name of the Lord. So please, would you please pray for everyone, everyone pray. Now, start praying and don't stop praying, please. Oh, Lord, help us, Jesus, help us, Jesus, with our divisions and with our high-mindedness and with even considering that we would know it better. This is, oh, God, Jesus, this is so bad. I pray for everyone, Lord, please. Have them to understand. Oh, Lord, please surrender them with your Holy Spirit right now. Touch their hearts right now, Lord. Let them repent, Lord God. Let them see that they were wrong. Just that, that they are not understanding everything that they, way it is. It, it happens to all of us. Hallelujah, Lord. Please do it. Please tell them. Please let them receive it before it's too late. And I pray for even my family members, Lord. I know they are not first fruits, but that, Lord God, glorify your most holy name. I pray for them. They come to see you now. Protect everyone, Lord. Protect everyone for the time of revival that those who didn't make it into this first rapture would make it into the second and do not have to depart from you without knowing you, Lord God. Glorify your most holy name. Glory, hallelujah. Bless everyone, Lord. Pray for the women and the children. Oh, God, the love of abuse, children and the youth. 
Bless them, Lord. They all should come. And the elderly, Lord, please, the elderly, they are so helpless. And the animals, of course, Lord, take the animals. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Just let, let you be God, okay? Just let it be according to your will. Just everything according to your will, even with us, Lord. You are the only one who really, truly knows all things. Bless you. Hallelujah. And so I just thank you for all. I thank you for every comment. And forgive me that I'm not answering the ones you, you just so ready to argue I cannot. But I love you. I pray for all of you. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, I pray that let every person who hear me, my voice. This is the prayer I recorded before I inserted this prayer segment. But I will not delete it. Every prayer comes. Hallelujah. Come into your presence and understand the call that you are calling. The deep is calling to deep. Hallelujah. That we have we are in a time of awesome revelations. We are in a time of everything is set to motion. We are days or hours away from everything to change. That life as we know it will be no more. We pray for our loved ones, our relatives, sons and daughters, even our beloved pets. Oh God, you know how much we love them. Protect them. Protect them. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord. Give them grace to call upon your name, the sons and daughters. The youth who are not listening, the elderly who are not listening, the people who know it better. <laughs> Jesus, glorify your name, we praise your precious blood over the whole world, Lord. So many haven't even heard your name yet. So many are arguing your name. And so many are arguing within you, Lord God, that how it is in you. How please, Lord. Touch their hearts, give them grace to return, Lord God, glory, hallelujah, none of us understand it all. Just bring your little piece of puzzle so that we can all be encouraged together and build this wonderful, glorious body together, hallelujah, rising up, glory, glory, hallelujah, praise you.